Billboards. What are billboards? Billboard is the ability to place a two-dimensional object in ARCHICAD in the three-dimensional visualization. And the billboard allows us to be able to view and cast shadows, but it's more than a texture because the most important thing about a billboard is it has transparency. I'm going to use a wall to make this billboard and I'm going to make it one mil thick and I'm going to make it three meters tall. All right. It's important to understand the size or the scale of our billboard because it's essentially the same as a material, texture, shader, whatever the, one of those words you want to use. I'm going to place a tree on my billboard and I want it to be visible from this space in here which is the granny flat. I want it to be in the middle of the granny flat or look like it's in the middle of the, the space. So I'm going to make it 2 meters wide and 3 meters tall and at the same height as the floor which is minus 720. So that, that'll put it slightly into the ground outside. So if we view this in 3D, we might just make this other wall a bit shorter for now, just so it doesn't get confusing. And we'll change the color of this just for the time being to make it blue. I always like using blue as a base for billboards, just because it's bright, vibrant, and it stands out. So here you see that we've got a, a panel, and that panel is flat. We have to remember that. The difference between a billboard and a three-dimensional object is the billboard's always flat, but it looks as if it isn't. It looks as if it's three-dimensional. So let's go inside our space. Let's go for a bit of a walk. Sorry, my system's running a bit slow today. Using our 3D Explore, press Shift to speed up. Okay, inside our, our room, looking through the doors out towards the view if you like, and here is our, our billboard outside in our space. The render is going to be dark, but we'll, we will be able to see the, the billboard outside. Uh, billboards, it's very important to understand, only work properly in our Lightworks rendering engine, and so we don't see it perfectly until we do a rendering. We don't see it properly in our 3D OpenGL window. Because you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's continue. What I'm going to use today for a billboard is a picture. And there's a company called, I don't know how to pronounce it, I call it Vinex. And it's a fantastic company that um, we can download from and we get a whole lot of these pictures or billboards and the most important part of the billboard is it has a transparent background. This is a colored picture and we might want um, a variety of different images. It could be a tree, it could be a piece of furniture, it could be an animal, It could be people. And I've put together quite a large list of these because I use these for a lot of my work. These billboards can be added in Photoshop and we have a look at later at one of my videos that does that where we're adding people to a scene in Photoshop, but this time we want to put it into our CAD program. And the reason we want to put it into our CAD program as opposed to just into Photoshop is because billboards can also cast shadows. And if we've got multiple layers or transparency, it helps if we do that in the CAD package straight away rather than separately. But to create a proper billboard, we need a few layers. We need the tree itself or the image itself, and we also need what's called an alpha. And the alpha gives us the shadow. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, layer new layer by copy or control J and to this layer I'll turn the other one off I'm going to go image adjustments hue saturation and take the lightness all the way down so now that we've got now we've got a black tree on a 
white or a transparent background. The reason why I say white is because we need to save this as a JPEG. Unfortunately, Archicad doesn't read or doesn't understand transparencies of TIFFs or PSDs. We need to tell it how or what is transparent by using this alpha image. So to do this, we're going to go File, Save As. And I'm just going to, at the end of this name, Vinox Tree 168, I'm just going to write ALPHA Alpha. Now I want to save this as a JPEG. I'm going to reduce the file size because I don't want it to be too big. OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for the image, the, the front image or the face image, I'm going to save it as a JPEG as well. Great, so now we've got two JPEG images. I need to insert these into Archicad and there's multiple ways to do that. I'm going to use the the simplest cheat way to do that for the time being. File, Libraries and Objects, Library Manager. And I want to add these into my embedded library. Add billboards, plants, tree elevation, Vinox tree, Vinox tree. I need to do this one at a time, I think. Yeah, alpha first, and then the face second. Great press OK and that's going to load those pictures into my library and then once they're in my library I can then choose to add them. Wonderful. So now how do we create the billboard? We need to create a, a material or texture or a surface as it's now called. Surfaces. When we create a surface we need to start from somewhere. We're going to start with another color or another surface. And again, I'm going to use blue. That was frustrating. And we're going to duplicate this surface. And we'll call this billboard, just in case we have lots of them, keep them all together, tree. Maybe tree one if we have several trees. Once we do this once, it's, it's an easy process to duplicate. Now, all we really need to affect is the Lightworks rendering engine. Like I said, that's the only one that will show it in real life. But I also like importing a billboard into OpenGL as well. So that means we get a representation of what we're looking for. So in OpenGL, texture, I'm going to search. It's already in my embedded library, so I don't need to search too far and I'm going to use the face as my picture. Now I know what size I want this tree to be because I've already created the, the billboard for it. However, that's based on the, the image size, not what we necessarily see. So it's based on the entire JPEG of what we insert. All that I really care is that I want it to be total height of 3000 and I'll keep original proportions so that the rest stays as it is. We see that the total width therefore is 2359 and I made mine 2000 so we might need to do a little bit of adjustment to make it work but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. This is a really helpful place just to know and remember how big that is. Now changing to Lightworks rendering engine. Sorry, before we do that, let's just, for now, we'll take get rid of all transparency and we'll get rid of all shininess. We don't want our tree to be shiny, but we want it to be fairly well illuminated, so we're going to boost ambient and diffused. Now, changing to Lightworks rendering engine, we want to match with internal engine, and that's going to allow the picture that we've added in OpenGL to now be seen here 
in the Lightwork render. Now in color, it did this automatically because we told it to. It's got it as Graphisoft masked image. That's okay. I'd be happy with Graphisoft wrapped image, but that'll be fine for now. The biggest thing that I need to change is my transparency. In my Lightworks rendering engine, I currently have no transparency, and we see that the background is white. We don't want the background to be white. We want the background to be wrapped image. Now when I open up wrapped image, I can search for a picture. And the picture that I want this time is my alpha. I want that to be the background. Now what becomes very important is that I need to Let's just change this to wrapped image and import that picture. I need to make sure that when I import this picture that the size of my picture is the same as the size of my transparency. So I'm going to, in terms of scale, I'm going to adjust this to 3, width, height, scale 3, and then in wrapped image, width, height, scale 3. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is change my billboard object which is currently a wall, so it has the correct surface. I originally had it on blue, and now I want to change that to billboard tree 1. Now when I go back to my 3D window, because I added the image in my OpenGL window, we can see the tree in 3D, but we can't see that it's transparent. That part's not working. I just want to open this door so I can just grab this a bit easier. Uh, a, a, a side point is if we want to open doors in 3D, again we can do this sort of thing in 3D as well as in 2D. If we grab the little pink node, the pink node as a parameter usually helps us to um, open or move. The next thing I need to do with this tree is center it or align it. I also need to make the wall a bit longer. Again, I can do that in 3D if I'm really clever. And from memory it was 2359 or something like that. So it's already 2, so I'm just going to type in 39559, I don't remember, it doesn't matter too much, as long as it's roughly the correct size. Design, align 3D texture, set origin, Did you see how it just moved? When we place a texture or a surface in ARCHICAD, it always relates to project origin, 0, 0, 0. So no matter where it is, it will relate to that point until we tell it to relate to something else. And so what I just did then, design, align 3D texture, set origin is reset for this texture or for this wall where the texture should start. This is very important when we're talking about bricks or tiles or billboards or other textures that have to start in the right place. A fabric, for instance, or a carpet, we don't see it as much, or maybe even a wood grain. That's not quite so important because it's, it's more natural. But when we have an artificial size, something that needs to relate to a particular joint, a junction, or, or, or a corner, setting that is important. All right. Now in order to do this properly we need to do a rendering and until we do a, a rendering again we're not going to see what we're looking for. Because I haven't um, turned on nice lamps at the moment I'm just going to use ugly lamps but that'll do enough of a job in order to be able to see what we're looking at. We need to make sure that transparency is on.
Hopefully this won't take too long. This won't be perfect, it's going to have a little bit of a, a glow. I need to take some of the, the light down so it doesn't glow like it is going to. But you'll see that we get some transparency through the image. Alright, so I need to fix that up. Billboard tree. Taking a long time. All right, let's reinsert that picture. Line next tree alpha. Now, because I have used black as the tree and white as the background, in the transparency, what I need to do is say invert the mask. Thankfully, that it gives us the option. Come on, you can't give me both options. It allows me to invert the mask. Other programs like Atlantis that we use don't, and that means we need to determine what the program's reading, whether it's going to read black as transparent or white as transparent. Because this reads black as transparent, we inverted it. But now we'll see that it works together. We'll do one more render, and this time it's going to work. And hopefully we'll see a shadow as well. The shadow won't be brilliant because we um, are using dodgy lights, but hopefully we'll see something. Great. So we see the transparency. What it's doing is it's not making the tree transparent, but it's making the edges of the picture around the tree transparent. We see that, that we have some problems and that's based on how well the tree has been cropped. See how there's white edges around the tree? That's essentially its ability for the mask to relate to the picture. The mask therefore is a little bit too big because it's slightly bigger than the picture. So if we zoom all the way in, we can see that this is done quite nicely. It, there's not too much white, and if you're not sure, one way that I find is very helpful, because it's hard to see with the checkered background sometimes, is we'll get a very bright, stark colour, like red. And then we can see that there's a little bit of white edges around here. And the problem is that the black is picking up all the white bits, as well as all the green bits, and that's why when we go back to Archicad, it looks like we're seeing all these white edges. So we can fix that up a little bit if we're if we're clever, uh, and if we, when we're in Photoshop, we trim up our billboards just a little bit better. That's basic billboards and again we can do this for trees, we can do this for people, we can put things inside or outside and it has the ability to add detail and three-dimensional depth to our designs.